Hi everyone, Jen here, just doing a intro video into Super Control. So it's just a quick overlook. I'm going to do further videos giving guides on how to add your owner, housekeeper and property and do your pricing and everything like that. But for now, I just want to show you a few things. So once you have your login information from HQ, when you log in, you'll be brought into this screen and don't be concerned about all the stuff in red or the error reports or anything like that. I'm currently sorting this stuff out. So Super Control main functionalities are that they can sync over multiple bookings from different booking sites for different properties all into our one booking calendar. So we can control the prices that we have set on all the listings for our properties all from within Super Control. Now it does take a bit of setting up, um, a bit of patience, <laughs> um, but once it's all entered properly, all the information's in and it's set up properly, it's a really useful tool. So Booking.com and Airbnb, TripAdvisor, HomeAway, all these sites can be integrated within Super Control. So our listing, our one listing can then be fanned out basically to all the, the booking sites. Um, as I said, it does take a bit of setting up, but once you get a booking in from Booking.com, for example, it will automatically come into Super Control, into the booking calendar, block those dates out, and then also filter through to the other sites and block off those calendars as well. So it's really good for reducing the, the risk of double bookings and things like that. It's good for owners. They can have their own login portal where they can come in and view the bookings that we've taken. So we can set that up to give them various access permissions and generally we just let them view things. We wouldn't want owners going in and editing information or prices or, or seeing prices or anything like that. Um, so you can view your whole list of properties that we've got on by going to properties and edit. This will bring up a search bar. So if you knew your property name and you were just looking for a specific one, you could select that and hit go and it would bring that property up with that name in it. You can also view all the properties by selecting 100 results per page. For now, that will bring up the list of all properties. So it breaks it down into group, property name, the group, which is the area it's in. So they're all grouped by areas. So it makes it easier to find as well. And then it shows you who the owner is, what package they're on. So 20 commission rate is the full management package. It lets you see the capacity of how many it holds and if it's enabled and things like that. So from here, you can click the reference number and it would take you right into the property. Um, and then you've got all your other settings within the property. You can also select from this drop down menu the area that you want to go to. So if you knew you wanted to go to the price planner, you can select that hit go and it would just take you right to the price planner for that property. So that's quite handy. Um, also, book, if you go to bookings and grid view, this will bring up a grid view of our bookings. So a calendar view. Now we've got too many properties for it to show them all at once. So it's broken it down into sections in alphabetical order. And this will show you three months worth and you can change the, the months that you, you want to see. You can use the bar to scroll along and this just gives you a full view of the calendars and it really just is good to let you see where there's gaps and things. So it's very colourful, all the colours mean different things so generally the purple is an owner's booking so for example if an owner wants to use their property for a week or so you can go in and block it out and it will show up as an owner booking and you can add information in about the dates and how many nights and how many adults and things like that. Um, they've also started adding the logos now to the bookings. So the B is booking.com. 
This little logo is Airbnb. The green is Home Away. Um, I think these coloured ones are orange are direct bookings that have been put in. So yeah, it's very, very handy to give you a quick overall glance. You can always filter this down into smaller groups or into grouped areas. So if I wanted to just view my Pershire properties, I would click the arrow next to grid defaults, go into the property groups, select Pershire and hit go. And this gives me a nice little grid view of my full Pershire properties. So you could do that with any Sterling, Fife, Glasgow, HQ, and just lets you see all those properties in that group and none of the rest. So if you don't want to be viewing anybody else as you want to cut out some of the noise, you can just select a group and view those. So that's really handy. Um, you can also hover over bookings and it will tell you information about it. And you can then also click into the booking, go to booking and it will open the whole booking right up. So this will let you see the guest name, the adults, the price they've paid, any charges, um, and then your sort of payment thing at the bottom. So that's good if you need to go in and update email addresses because when bookings come in from the other booking portals, they get their own booking.com or airbnb.com email. We really want the guest direct email. Once we get that, we would just put that in here and save. So, so Super Control will have all our owners all listed and synced to properties they own. The housekeepers, you can add in housekeeper details and then sync them, link them up to the relevant properties that they clean and they can also have notifications sent in them, emails every time there's a booking so they can organise their calendars. Um, we can automate letters so that, for example, we send pre-arrival details. So this gives the guest details about the property and then maybe a day or so before we'd send it again with the access codes for them getting in. So these are all automated um, and you can set that up quite easily, adding letters in um, and then automate them to go out, you know, once the say once a person, as soon as a person books, they'll get an email confirming that they've booked um, and asking for their preferred contact details. And then 14 days before their arrival, they will get the pre-arrival, the first pre-arrival document, which gives them details about the accommodation, the heating and things like that, but no access codes. And then a day or two before their arrival, they'll then get the pre-arrival that includes the full access codes. So this is all automated, um, so it's really good you're not running around having to then send all these prior to the guests moving in. I'll cover all this stuff on proper step-by-step -step guides. This is really just a general introduction into Super Control. So iCal feeds can be quite handy. So each property has a link to its own calendar that shows the availability. So if, for example, perhaps you've got an owner who's got his own website for his property that he's been marketing himself and he perhaps has a live calendar that shows availability and things like that and he can take online bookings, we can actually give him a link to our calendar for his property and he can put that within his website, within his calendar. And it means that when we take bookings for his property, his calendar is therefore automatically updated and vice versa. So we can take a link from an owner's calendar and import it in here. And then if they have a booking, then it means it will automatically come in here. That's not always the case that that happens. Um, we shouldn't really need to do that because generally we should have full calendar control, which means that basically there wouldn't be anybody else taking live bookings, that we would have control of all calendars for the property. Um, so generally we shouldn't need to bother with importing these iCal links. But in some some cases it might be required.
Okay, as I said, I will go into more detail on each video's end, but I hope that's helped as just a general intro. Thanks.